Welcome to the Edhocracy Show. On today's show... We're at Comic-Con! We're asking people if they know real superheroes from fake ones. And we're going to have some fun. We'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm J.D. Melville. And I'm David Landine. And welcome to the Ad Hocracy Show, your weekly source for advertising, marketing, art, and design. And if you are here for the first time, thank you for coming. Please click the subscribe button down below. And uh, that will let you know that we have a new episode every Monday. Also, if you're here for the first time, we're not usually at Comic-Con. We're usually in our studio. But this is a special episode because Salt Lake City Comic Con is happening right now. So what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to go around and ask people if they know the difference between real superheroes that are pretty awful or fake ones that we made up ourselves. So uh, there's a lot of, of work that goes into the actual design of these things. I mean, companies put a lot of work in the marketing and to the branding and making these um, syndicates and these, and these big franchises really take off and, and in a big way so that people absolutely love and enjoy these, these events. So we're going to have some fun. We're going to ask some questions. And uh, yeah, come with us on an adventure. It's going to be fun. Super Moby Dick of Space. Super Moby Dick of Space. Um, it is able to transform one type of energy into another, and thereby, the more it eats, the bigger it gets. Its biggest offense was an interruption of intergalactic shipping. True or false? Oh, man. I don't know. I, I, have, I have no idea. I haven't even heard of this. I'm hoping true because I want to go out and get Moby Dick in space. I really want to say that's fake, but I bet that's real. This is absolutely true. Yes. Super Moby Dick of space. Yeah. Go find it. It's an older one. It's, it's hilarious. It is real. What do you think about that being a real superhero comic character thing? I'd say that's really lazy storytelling. Tedums. Tedums. Don't underestimate this bloke by his called name. This British butler turned super spy blends in with the lower class while taking down the upper class vi vi uh, villains. Real or fake? Real. 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 What makes you say real? Because it sounds like Alfred. <laughs> I'm strictly going on Alfred. Strictly on Alfred. Alfred has led you astray. That is fake. Oh. I made that one completely up. You did good. Thank you. You're a good liar. Thank you. You're so Off the top, a complicated villain who works closely with a team of heroes to retrieve stolen funds but keeps a bit for himself. You could say he skims a little off the top. Real or fake? Real. Just to guess. It's fake. I actually made that one up. Good. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Matter-eating lad. Keep everything away from this guy. His special ability is the ability to bite and eat anything. And I mean anything. Hailing from the planet Bismol. More like Pepto Bismol. Real or fake? Matter eating lad. Fake. Real. <laughs> so why do you say fake? Matter eating lad? It doesn't really sound like a superhero name. And she's wrong most of the time. Okay. And why do you say real? Because I want to argue with him. <laughs> a great idea because that was real. <laughs> Matter eating lad. The almighty dollar. The almighty dollar. J. Pennington Pennypacker, a common CPA, is given abilities by a mad scientist that allows him to shoot pennies out of his hands. He is famously quoted as saying, apparently I can throw money at my problems. True or fake? That, that's got to be true. No line is better than I can throw money at my problems. That is a comic book line. Real or fake? I'm going to say real because I want that to be real. I'm going to say real because that name sounds like a comic book character name. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yes, that's fantastic. You are absolutely right. That is true. So that one is absolutely real. Good job, you guys. <laughs> His name is Al Gator. So everyone knows Killer Croc, right? Killer Croc. He's awful. Um, this is his cross-universe rival, so Al Gator. Um, 
If you know one super, like if you know one amphibious super villain, you kind of know them all, right? They're all the same. The only real difference is his swamp-like planet and accompanying Cajun accent. Real or fake? Real or fake? Uh, real. <laughs> I'm gonna say fake on that one. Why do you say fake? I just I can see you making that up. <laughs> real, fake. I'm gonna say fake. I'll say real. Fake. You think you say fake? What makes you think fake? Alligator. What kind of name is that? It is comic books. This one was completely fake. Yeah. I did make this one up. <laughs> that one is fake. I did make that one up. <laughs> it's, it's all right. It's all right. The Red Bee. The Red Bee. This vigilante really doesn't have any powers, nor the fear inducing suit. In fact, he wears yellow and red tights, a red tunic, and pink sleeves. Okay? Uh, the saddest thing about the superhero is not his costume, but that his way of fighting crime is his trained and named bee that he throws at his victims. Real or fake? I say it's fake. That does not sound like a real hero. You think I made that up completely? Yeah. You think I'm that cheesy? Yeah. I don't know. The idea almost sounds... It almost sounds real, so I'll go with that. Okay. I'm going to go with real because there's no one stupid enough to make a hero like that. Okay. Uh, I think it's fake because people are stupid enough to do that. No, I mean, like, just to make it up for a game like this. Like, I don't think anyone's stupid enough to do that. Okay. That one is completely true. That is true. That is a true... <laughs>
Obviously, as the name implies, he's able to open doors. But not just any doors, portals. Which he is able to take people to the afterlife. He'll just wait for you by the door, real or fake. I think fake. Fake? I'm gonna say fake too. You say fake. That's actually a real, that's a real superhero. <laughs> the Echo. The Echo. A mastermind of recreation, the Echo is able to mimic and recreate the MO of other villains to get away with his plans. He is the protege of the now retired copycat. Real or fake? I'm gonna go with fake. I think that's a fake. I think you made it up. You, what makes you think I made that up? Uh, I know that there's a comic book title, The Echo, but I've never heard of a super villain, The Echo. Okay, okay. That one is totally fake. You're right. <laughs> All right, we're here with Batman. Uh, are you a real or fake superhero? Oh, he's fake. Or he's holding really still. All right, let's, let's keep going. Is Sizem. Uh, Doug Rocky Douglas was working as a geologist in the desert on a dig. He got separated from his party. A medicine man found him unconscious in a crevice and helped him escape using seismic pulses. He now uses these powers to fight big oil. Real or fake? Big oil is in like... Like, like uh, the big oil companies, yeah. Okay. Uh... I really like it, so I'm going to go with real. <laughs> real or fake? With fighting big oil, I'm going to go with fake. Well, I appreciate you really liking it, because I made it up. <laughs> it is fake. Sizem does not exist, but if you want to write a comic book, now you have a great idea. Yeah. Great idea. Kid Miracle Man. Kid Miracle Man. Okay. Don't let the name fool you or confuse you. I mean, kid and, and man, I mean... It's kind of confusing. This odd named character is incredibly powerful. He's strong, fast, pretty much invulnerable, can survive the space vacuum, an absolute genius, has thunderclaps, uh, flight, telepathy, and laser vision. You don't want to mess with this man or kid. Is it real or fake? Is it a man or a kid? Yes. Fake. Fake? What makes you think fake? Because, uh, can you be a man and a child? Oh, no. Yeah, you can. I've seen this place. You can be a man and a child. Ugh. Do you want to change your answer? I'm still going to go with fake. This one is actually real. Really? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's awesome. I'm going to look this guy up. Burple. Burple. After drinking a radioactive grape soda, Burple dresses in a purple suit and uses supersonic belches to fight crime. Real or fake? Fake. That. Fake. Okay. And real. <laughs> oh well, this time it, it it was fake. I made that one up. Why did you Why did you know it was fake? Burple, like really. But he does like burp and purple. It's it's play on words. A couple questions. Are you uh, with a real or fake superhero? Silence is goldness, I suppose. Thanks for answering any questions. The wizard. Not wizard, but the wizard. Step aside, Flash. The wizard is here. A self-taught hand-to-hand combat with superhuman speed and reflexes. The original bullet time hero. And how did he get these incredible powers, you may ask? A, mong <laughs> a mongoose blood transfusion <laughs> by his doctor father. Real or fake? The f real. The f fake. It's, it's real. It's real. What? Fake. Why do you say fake? I just, I don't know. I heard Wizard somewhere. I forgot where it was, but it was on some TV show. I heard Wizard. I'm pretty sure it was like the old Amazing Spider-Man, but I know the Wizard is a real superhero. I'm pretty sure. He is real. Mongoose blood transfusion by his doctor father. His name is Shakes. Now, this ragtag character doesn't really have any powers per se. He suffers from non-fatal causes of Tourette's and Parkinson's disease. Unfortunately, meeting his demise when his, uh, his spasms lead him to gra accidentally grab an active grenade out of the team leader's hand, and he dies. Real or fake? Fake. What makes you say fake? Um, just a guess. I mean, eventually I gotta get one of these right, right? Does, does it help if I tell you that the team leader's name is Six Pack? No, it does not. Just sounds like some old, old guy with a beer belly. That's exactly who he is. 
Oh, that's who the team leader is? Some old guy with a six-pack? Okay, you're definitely lying to me. That's 100% true. It is? It's, a, it's the group of the pack of eight. Really? <laughs> Thank you for playing the game. All right, well, that was awesome. That was great. We had a lot of great responses, and it was fun to uh, to interact with people and, and get their take on whether we made something up or if it was real. I learned that we may have missed our calling as comic book, well, bad comic book uh, storytellers. Well, our, ours were good. They were too good. That that was half the problem, so. That's true. I'm really proud of Burple. I really am. I think it might really be. Is that from Jimmy Neutron? That that was it may be. Oh. We'll have to look that up. Well, uh, for the made-up fact of the day, if you subscribe, just clicking down below, uh, you will have the knowledge of superheroes and villains. We, we won't be able to stump you. You may even become a superhero or a villain. Oh, my gosh. Arm fall-off boy. This guy, uh, I bet you can't guess what his powers are. The ability to separate his limbs at will. <laughs> 